In this example, we will solve permutations where objects are never together. In part A, how many ways can the letters in quest be arranged if the vowels must never be together? Use permutation tiles to represent the letters in quest. A shortcut for separating two items uses the following steps. First, find the total number of arrangements with no constraints. Second, find the number of arrangements where the vowels are always together. And third, subtract the two values to find the number of arrangements where the vowels are never together. We'll begin with step 1. Find the total number of arrangements with no constraints. Five items can be arranged in five factorial ways. Next, find the number of arrangements where the vowels are always together. The vowels U and E must always be together, so put them in a container. We can arrange U and E in two factorial ways. Now that we have resolved the constraint, bring forward the remaining letters. If we consider the U and E container to be one item, we can arrange four items in four factorial ways. The number of arrangements with the vowels always together is 2 factorial times 4 factorial. And finally, subtract the two values to find the number of arrangements where the vowels are never together. The number of arrangements with the vowels never together is 5 factorial minus 2 factorial times 4 factorial equals 72. Note that 5 factorial minus 2 factorial times 4 factorial is a single case permutation since the subtraction is the result of a calculation trick. We are not actually restocking and redrawing from the sample set in this problem. Now we'll solve this problem using a more general method. In the previous method, we used a strategy for solving problems where two items must be kept separate. In this method, we will use a more general strategy using placeholders that will still work even if three or four items must be kept separated. Use squares as consonant placeholders and use circles as vowel placeholders. Quest has three consonants, so draw placeholders for the consonants first. Use slightly different colors for each placeholder to indicate they are unique. Order matters. The vowels must never be together. This means that vowel placeholders must always be separated by consonant placeholders. We require all of the consonant placeholders and they can be arranged in 3p3 equals 3 factorial ways. We require two of the vowel placeholders, and they can be arranged in 4p2 ways. Three factorial times 4p2 equals 72. This is the same result we obtained earlier. Now we'll move on to part B. Eight cars, three red, three blue, and two yellow, are to be parked in a line. How many unique lines can be formed if the yellow cars must not be together? Assume that cars of each color are identical. Use permutation tiles to represent the eight cars.
The first step is to find the total number of arrangements with no constraints. Eight items can be arranged in eight factorial ways. Next, find the number of arrangements where the yellow cars are always together. The yellow cars must always be together, so put them in a container. We can arrange the yellow cars in two factorial ways. Now that we have resolved the constraint, bring forward the remaining cars. If we consider the yellow cars container to be one item, we can arrange seven items in seven factorial ways. The number of arrangements with the yellow cars always together is 2 factorial times 7 factorial. And finally, subtract the two values to find the number of arrangements where the yellow cars are never together. This gives us 8 factorial minus 2 factorial times 7 factorial. Watch out! We have 3 red, 3 blue, and 2 yellow cars, and we can assume that cars of each color are identical. Divide out the repetitions to get 420 unique arrangements. Now we'll solve this problem using a more general method. In the previous method, we used a strategy for solving problems where two items must be kept separate. In this method, we will use a more general strategy using placeholders that will still work even if three or four items must be kept separated. Use squares as placeholders for the non-yellow cars, and use circles as placeholders for the yellow cars. There are six non-yellow cars, so draw these placeholders first. Use slightly different colors for each placeholder to indicate they are unique. Order matters. The yellow cars must never be together. This means that the yellow placeholders must be separated by the non-yellow placeholders. We require all of the non-yellow placeholders, and they can be arranged in 6p6 equals 6 factorial ways. We require two of the yellow placeholders, and they can be arranged in 7p2 ways. We can arrange the placeholders in 6 factorial times 7p2 ways. Watch out! We have three red, three blue, and two yellow cars, and we can assume that cars of each color are identical. Divide out the repetitions to get 420 unique arrangements. This is the same result we obtained earlier. Now we'll move on to part C. How many ways can the letters in reading be arranged if the vowels must never be together? In the word reading, there are three vowels that must be kept apart. Since we are trying to separate more than two items, we must use a placeholder method. Use squares as consonant placeholders, and use circles as vowel placeholders. Reading has four consonants, so draw placeholders for the consonants first. Use slightly different colors for each placeholder to indicate they are unique. Order matters. The vowels must never be together. This means that vowel placeholders must always be separated by consonant placeholders. We require all of the consonant placeholders, and they can be arranged in 4p4 equals 4 factorial ways. We require three of the vowel placeholders, 
and they can be arranged in 5p3 ways. We can arrange the placeholders in 4 factorial times 5p3 equals 1440 ways. This is the number of words that can be formed where all three vowels are separated. If we incorrectly used 7 factorial minus 5 factorial times 3 factorial equals 4320, we would only be removing the words with all three vowels together. Words with two vowels together would still be included, leading to more possible arrangements.